Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Yes, the Up Chanel 48th World along with the family as co-hosts hey 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 uh we got a conversation we need to have because a1 spoke on something on candy's speak on it platform that i didn't too much care for but you know i'm gonna handle it with the white gloves i'm gonna handle it with the white gloves because we are nobody to blame but todd tucker that's right. Little Timmy Todd Tucker Enterprises over there. And Candy, ah, we just have to keep you in prayer, baby. We just have to keep you in prayer because I don't know what you're going to do with little Blaze and little Ace and your parenting uh, slash Todd's parenting. We know you would give the world to anybody you believe in and you want to, you know, know that they have you. You know, if they ever need you. Okay. And somehow the lines on got Mercury, Mercury, not Mercury, Murky and Cloudy. And we got to talk about Miss Kayla coming on your platform. And to me, how I took it when A1 was interviewing Kayla. He didn't know because I saw it on his face. I, he looked a surprise and my mouth was wide open. Yes, girl. I'm like, I know this little girl just didn't say. And I got more choice words for her. But I'm going to respect her. I'm going to respect her. Because she's a young adult. And she don't know no better. Okay? Because her dad has been drilling things in her mind and making her think a certain way. And she's clouded with her judgment of how she sees things. Okay. But one thing I can say about Riley Burris and Noel Robinson, Cynthia's daughter. They ain't taking shit off their parents. They ain't taking shit off people that know their parents, such as Andy Cohen. And y'all know when girlfriend got in his ass, when he called himself overstepping his boundaries and asking uh, Riley, what about your dad? How you feel about your dad? I should have said, well, how you feel about Lucy? How you feel about your adopted children? Let's start down first before you come jumping in my life. But Riley got him sold up quick, fast, in a hurry. And it was so politely done. I was like, well done. Girl, well done. Okay, I know they had to come from your uh, mama Joyce. Come mama Joyce got that little thing she do with her mouth and how she be saying the streets are talking and this that and the third honey when she perch up her mouth and her lips girl and her nose turn a certain way she she gonna get into us ass and see we still ain't forgot about that shit you took her to a strip club and thought it was okay she ain't no boy she ain't no boy that's not something you pass pass what you call it? pass a right what you call it rice rice of passage down we don't want to see her up there looking at no uh, women clap their ass unless she was in a, you know, a male thing. We all in a male thing? I don't think so. Mm-mm. I know you weren't up there. You were having her looking at women. I already tempted her. I already tempted her to be a person that could want to go both ways. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The writing's on the wall. But I was so mad. I was riding to work too. Because A1 was doing his thing this time. I'm like okay. okay. He ain't getting on my law the way he once was. I appreciate it. Because a man like I said. A man can't get another woman together. No, 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 <laughs> We can't do that. A man can get a man together. A woman can get a woman together. And a woman should not be in man's business when they're arguing. And a woman, well, a man should not be in women's business when they're arguing. It's just a code. It's just an individual code that's invisible. But you know you can't do that. Okay? You can't do that. 
It's just not polite. But honey, baby, <laughs> Riley's getting her education. She is arming herself up to come lock loaded and be ready to spray on anybody that's going to try to get her, uh, you know, uh, 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 a piece of their mind. Because she's going to have it she educated, girl, educated. And give her a little time, she's going to be street smart. Okay? But Kayla just went on and said this and that. And I was like, have this girl lost her mind? Does she know how important Candy Burris could be in her life? Does she not know the connections Candy Reach can go? Because Candy is internationally known, okay? International lover, yes. Candy got the bags to go around the world. Hey, she can buy you diamonds and pearls if she wanted to. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yes! I have to see my prince. Uh, <laughs> I was in my prince mode, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I had to just throw that to y'all because I get that way sometimes. You got to take it. The good with the bad. Okay? But anyway, yeah. She was sitting about just being salty. And I said, A1, you don't see that what I'm saying, A1. You don't put your foot in your ass and now you can't even back it out. Because you had no business trying to go between what Todd has taught her as a lesson versus what her mama, her biological mama may have taught her. You see what I'm saying? Because Todd is on another whole level. And I don't know what he think he's going to do with Blaze and AC Pooh when they're going to want something. And Todd say no. And <laughs> we already showed the statistics of what Candy has versus what Todd has. Now, what, how you think that's going to go? Because Candy ain't going to let her children be without. I'm sorry. She said, I work too hard. I know too many people. And I'm not going to let my children suffer. So I like Todd. Take a listen. Take a lesson. Look. Okay? Because you're not looking. You're just going full straight ahead. Thinking about yourself. And want to give these children under your belt a lesson on how to save money. You don't need to be coming asking us. Well, hell, tell us somebody had to pull you up by your bootstraps. Okay? It's called affirmative action. Okay? And you shouldn't want your child to suffer or go through certain things if they don't have to. That's where morals come in. That's where ethicalness comes in. You teach them by giving them the foundation of knowing Everything is not going to be given to you by other people. We got you. But we want you to understand you are privileged. You you have it better than the next person out there that you're trying to compete with. Because really what it's all said and done with is who you know and how you know. Okay? It's who you know first, then how you know. Meaning you're going to get that experience from who you know, and then you're going to go out there, work that experience, and then you're going to be able to pull somebody else up from their bootstraps, okay? But see, Todd done did something real bad. He done planted in his daughter's mind that you got to get yours. You don't need your family members to help you. You got to get yours. That's old-time thinking, okay? That's old-time, antiquated thinking. But we can't fool with Todd. Because little Tim Todd Tucker, I don't want to get on him too bad. Because I liked him when he was defending himself and his wife on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, episode, what was it? 12, 13, 13, maybe. And I got to do my little episode over there. It's not going to be a full one, but it's going to be who I thought should have acted whatever kind of way I felt they should have acted that they didn't act. Okay. But that's neither here nor there. We're getting on DJ A1. And we're not really getting in his ass. He just made a very bad uh, answering of some questions that he wanted Kayla to spit out to him. Because he didn't know Kayla's going to spit that hatredness out. And he didn't know what to do with it because he, he loved Riley and he loved Caleb. Okay? But she said some damaging things that make one go, hmm, make one pause for the cause and say, okay, this is some bullshit going on here. Something is, what do you call it, festering. Something is getting in the woodworks that's going to come out and bite Todd and Candy in the ass. But. Riley going to be prepared. 
But if Kayla gonna be prepared, I don't know. Because she definitely follows her dad's way of doing things. And then just because a person has one up, she thinks they are just too spoiled. Honey, your daddy need to spoil you more. Then you wouldn't have such, such hatred in your heart. So much disdain in your heart that you would come out on a live platform where millions of people look at Candy. Because, you know, it's Candy's show. Okay? We respect Candy. Candy love everybody. Candy love you, Kayla. But your mindset is not being humbled enough. So, I said enough. But let's... Let, 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 let me let you listen to the video, okay? DJ A1, giving it all he got, okay? So we can feel it, all right? But very poor questioning that landed him with a puzzled look on his face. And you can't take nothing back, especially when you're recording it and it's live. Or it's live. We know it wasn't live. It was, uh, I guess it was pre-recorded. But I guess they didn't want to change anything to keep the premises of speak on it meaning when something bothers you you come on over you tell us about it and you tell your truth so that's basically what i do when i do or uh, critique uh anything that i want to critique on candy's platform speak on it uh but like i said she's been doing a phenomenal job i, I had no problem except when a1 went off too hard in marla's ass and we, we didn't really need him to do that but he has walked it back he has done his due diligence recognized he can't be saying things like that about a woman now whether he like her or not you know and I, like i said i think it's just his her delivery that a1 can't get with her method of communicating that he can't get with because i don't think he i i really i'm not gonna say he hate women you know what i'm saying but uh he reprieved his stuff. But let's go on and we're gonna talk about what we heard Todd's Tucker daughter talk, say in reference when it came to Riley Burris. And y'all tell me what y'all think of them comments after everything is done and said. Get down in there because I wanna tell y'all. Get down there and let's have a conversation. Please, let's have a conversation about this. Cause what they say a house divided shall never stand. It's a house divided up over there in that platform. But we ain't got no nobody to thank for this but Todd. Come on, just told her. Todd something there. Todd is something else. He reaping the benefits, but he don't want his child to reap the benefits. And she is a little sore. <clears throat> She's a little mad about the situation. But I ain't got to make this shit up. You can't make this shit up, okay? Let me let y'all listen to it. Hold on. Look who it is. It's my little sister, Kayla Tucker. It's okay. Well, you know, just young. How you been, baby? Working what? Working on what? <laughs> New York living? Yeah. Uh, I feel like I ain't seen you. I mean, I just seen you several months ago. What? Yeah, that's a long time, though. Yeah, months is a long time. And you're just so grown up to me now. Yeah. Even though I just seen you, but Jesus. It's been a while, baby. I ain't seen you. I was happy to see you on the show. I know that you've been real heavy into the fashion mm -hmm. you've gotten a tattoo yeah i have a few you didn't run that by me i didn't run it by nobody okay well we need to have us talk you get beside yourself oh you're showing you i mean your little britches is getting too big oh wow man don't be brand here trying to grow up on us i'm chilling i'm doing my i'm handling my business so i see it's only right i see we still in production we still doing yes. production yes kayla you are grown you are handling your business as you said but you're still supposed to be very polite because right now you're coming off a little bit arrogant okay we need to we need you to be humbled a little more okay respect the elders you got to respect a one when it comes to communicating you need to take a course in communication, Kayla. Maybe you need to go to school to be a little bit more well-rounded. But we're going to go on back to the commentary that A1 is conducting with Miss Kayla. Hold on. Okay. I am a production coordinator at Paramount. My little dog got her dance, you hear me? She's working hard. She is working hard. <laughs> Okay, baby. She's working hard. Cheers. All right. Yeah, my little dog. Let me hold 10 on. Listen, I need 50 from you. Tell me who you know. I get you 10, give me 50. Because, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Club love, all that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Famous shit. I'm working a little bit. Really? <laughs> yeah, we're really? a long way with so. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. 
and cussing too. I'm like, girl, you are barely in your fresh, young state of mind of a pre-adult. And you're getting it all wrong, baby. You're getting it all wrong. But go on. We're going to let it go on. Please. Yeah, baby, my dog used to be splitting the hookah. <laughs> splitting the hookah. Daddy uh, getting him a nurse. Right. Uh, uh, sitting in my house talking loud. Right. Getting about to get put out. <laughs> you remember that? Now in my house. We, we come a long way. This is really my family. And I love it to death. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Last week on Speak On It, I spoke about Todd and not leaving y'all nothing in the will. Um... <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta be serious. That's something. Okay, so, so uh, I said last week that Kayla speaks her mind, but I felt like you were a little reserved. And so, is it something that they didn't show on the show? Boom. I feel like, cause I guess I'm kind of quiet on the show. I guess they're trying to keep that persona up. But you're not quiet at all. Exactly, and I definitely said stuff during that scene. So, I just don't understand why they got to cut everything. Tell so, people. Tell people. Speak on it. So, what you said about the will. I, I kind of agree with my dad, though. Like, I feel like we should get stuff sporadically. But do you agree with your father because that's how you've been raised? Um. Because, because if, if we can be candid, um, your upbringing with your father hasn't been the uh, norm of what a rich kid's upbringing would be, right? Yeah. Um, just for my being around you for the last 12 years or however long I've been around you, um, you don't function as a celebrity kid per se or a rich kid, right? Even though, you know, your father has money and you, you now live a life of luxury, right? And you have the different, um, you're exposed, right? Okay. So do you feel as though now that you're exposed and you you live the life that you live, you are grateful for the way that your father raised you? Yes, I am actually because I think that, well, with the whole money situation, I feel that growing up, we don't need to just be given all of that money because we'll blow it real fast, real fast. But will you blow it? Be, be now, at this age, I wouldn't. Okay. At this age, I wouldn't. Okay, so I'm going to interject. She don't lost her damn mind. She don't lost her damn mind, okay? Because Candy Birds was my stepmom. And she had connections. Ain't no way in the hell I'm going to be working hard, hard. I didn't say work smarter, not harder. Even though my daddy may be disagreeing, this, that, and the third. Guess what? She's a young adult. If she wants to lean to the understanding of what Candy Birds, Tucker, can do for her, then... Todd need to mosey himself on out the way, okay? Because every opportunity that he gets through Candace connections, he's cool with. You see what I'm saying? The door had to be open for him to come in, for him to show what he could do for their organization or whatever businesses they may be trying to get and be a part of but for her meaning Kayla to have the audacity to say no uh, it's like she's co-signing 100% well really 1000% of what her daddy was saying instead of her really digging down deep okay letting those emotions come to the surface and then eloquently stating her case on the matter you see what i'm saying stating her case her viewpoints her thoughts about the leaving of money in the wheels okay instead of mimicking what her dad says because i promise you she totally thinks the way riley thinks i need my money i need y'all to help me out as much as y'all can so i can get me to do what i need to do and maybe i can help y'all when i get up there okay and y'all are you know uh, retiring stage and y'all you know want to hang with us but we really don't want y'all to hang with us because y'all seniors that type of stuff I did not hear one time Candace's daughter her biological daughter say anything against Kayla but as we keep listening y'all will see where I'm going to try to get y'all 
in the same headspace I am without even really convincing you because you're going to hear the words yourself. And it's going to knock you on the floor because you didn't think this child would be unhumbled by the situation that she's in because it's a win-win situation for her and Riley both you know what I'm saying you just got to play your cards right and forget forget about what your dad is talking about out there okay because he you know I don't really think mama Sharon rest her soul made him work hard hard or she didn't give him a one up or she didn't help him along the way if he was short on the bread you know what I'm saying because that's what mamas and daddies do. They look out for you. They give you lectures about, hey, you bumping your head too much on this situation. Why don't you try to do it this way? You know what I'm saying? And then if they still be bumping their heads, I, you know, you, you, you parents, you, your parents, you, you, you feel for your kids. And you don't want them to struggle in any facet of this thing we call life. If you can help it. You know what I'm saying? And Todd ain't white. He ain't got no old ass money. And he ain't got billions to sit there and say, well, I'm not leaving y'all anything. I'm leaving uh, it to charity or some type of philanthropy type of setup. Okay? Because I've given y'all education. Y'all need to go and, and uh, make it work however you want to make it work. But I paid for your education. So that you should be humble enough to go and get your money. That's some bullshit, okay? Oh, well, then I digress. Let me let you finish hearing what I had to listen to. Age, I wouldn't. Okay. At this age, I wouldn't blow it because I have a lot of shit that, sorry. A lot of things. I would say what the fuck you to Okay. So I have, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of things I need to accomplish mm -hmm. and spending just freely and stupidly is not something I do anymore. Yeah, no, I ain't about to be buying ten bottles. I ain't, okay. So you know what I'm saying? So your clothes habit is, you, you, you drop I mean, that. the clothes, <laughs> the clothes. We got rid of sneakers and all better. that? I'm a little better. I just got these. Okay. You know, I'm a little better. I'm a little okay. better. I'm calm. Candy's way of parenting mm -hmm. and your father's way of parenting, which one would you prefer? Because Candy seemingly, well, we know she just gives abundantly. Or would you have liked for your father to do it the way he did it? Or would you like both? Or a piece of both? Maybe? Yeah, I would like to be in the middle, but nothing's perfect, obviously. Correct. So the thing with my dad is, I think he thinks uh, in a business mindset all the time. Mm -hmm. And so we I don't think that's bad. I do my daughter it's not work. bad, but we need our dads. Like, well, you know, I call your father about everything. I'm mean, like, what should I do with this? How should I handle this? All well, the time. I agree, because I, I do that a lot too now as well. Like, you know, before I'm like, um, whatever. Right. But now, you know, I feel like we both have an understanding. Like, dad, I need you to be a dad. And you can also be a business guy, but I need a dad, bro. Like, hello? Yeah, right, right. And then as far and see, with that being said, it's something that's deep down that she resents about her father, Tiny Tim Todd Tucker Enterprises, is what we call him over here. But she's still feeling some kind of way because I do remember uh, he wasn't in Kayla's life, like from her earlier points on. I think he probably got in her life when she was about maybe 10, 11, 12, I'm thinking. And she's missed that. And he's not a type of person that she feels is warm and, you know, concerning and just can talk to her on a daughter and father basis just listen to her instead of listening to react and i you know the the uh like it's, it's bad it's bad because todd should have been doing better even if she had to go take classes on parenting you know and just not just saying okay well i i, I didn't get this i had to work hard but you sound kind of bitter todd you sound kind of bitter but like i said i'm gonna get off your ass because i liked it how you stood up for your wife and you know i'm glad you didn't say too much because i'm like okay he's he finna go he finna hit below the belt and he can't do that on a woman okay he can't do that on a woman because he do that on a woman he could do that shit on candy and then i know fireworks will be going around that house you know what i'm saying but that's not a here no there but um i think she still meaning kayla got some deep seated uh 
hidden very deep down in her soul that she wants to confess to her dad about that she's not being able to do so okay and then you know just trying to make another person in the pyramid of familyness you know, it's like you, 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 you're taking your hatred out and you're taking your vileness out on the wrong person. Okay, meaning I think she's putting her anger towards Riley when it should not even be that way at all. You know what I'm saying? They can do a lot together. They can conquer the world together if they just saw each other as, how would I say, not sisters because that's a lot to put on a situation like this, but you know, I got my back, you got my back. You know, it's kind of like a, a yin to yang or, um, mm, how can I put it? How can I put it? Like, am I my sister's keeper? You know what I'm saying? With just knowing me, me knowing you, and forget about our parents. You know what I'm saying? And uh, as much as Candy probably wanted to push that scenario, that ship has sailed from what I've heard, from what I've seen of the video that A1 did on uh, speak on it uh, regarding what Kayla had to express. But l let me go on back. Let's t listen a little bit more. Sorry, but I needed that, bro. Like, hello. Yeah. And then, as far as the way Candy is, you know, I mean, it's not that wrong with being spoiled, but it's just certain things you got to be in touch with. See, that's what I'm saying. Here we go. She, 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 she put it out there. And A1, <laughs> go watch it if you don't, you think I'm lying. Go watch it. It's called Speak On It with A1 and Guess. Okay? A1 was like, oh, hell, I know this girl didn't say this shit on TV. Did she really say what I think she said? Because he looked like, he was terrified. He was terrified. Like, damn, how did I walk this in here? And then... Uh, this child thinks she can just talk because I gave her the platform to do it. And, whoo, child, I like, yeah, Karada gonna probably get in your ass, A1, about why you didn't take up for her. You know? But let's take another Lissy Luke. Reality. Not to say that Riley well, 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 isn't, but... Who's to say that Riley's reality isn't reality? Exactly. I you know what I'm saying? Exactly, because that's her... Say that. The A1 had to bring her back. She had got off the rail. She had got off the choo-choo train track. You know, similar to what her dad does here and there. But he was easing her back. Like, come on now. That's Riley's relationship with herself and her relationship she's had with her family members. And that is Riley's reality. Riley grew up with a silver spoon in her uh, cup or her mouth where she could eat off a gold-plated uh, fork or spoon. Yes, she did. Or it can be totally uh we call it silverware silver okay sterling silver she was eating off when she was like maybe what six seven months old okay <laughs> riley don't know, know nothing about being broke no she don't and she ain't trying to find out that's why she going to school getting her education so she can come out making some money okay because she don't know nothing about no poor life mm -mm. she's seen it she saying it. She don't like it. Mm -mm. Bryce, I don't like being poor. Uh -uh, I don't like it. If I can do any and everything to not be poor, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's going to be legal, but I'm going to do it because I don't like that poor. Mm -mm. Poorness don't get you nowhere. Okay. And and definitely Candy has definitely did her due diligence by giving her options. You see what I'm saying? She placed herself in a role or several roles where she has the financial backing to uh, be able to uh, have Riley soar, you know, to the heavens, you know, not even disgracing, you know, the Lord, because we know she ain't going up to the heavens, but, uh, just to put her up there, and she feels confident, she's educated, she's well-rounded, where she can make good judgment calls, and she can, um, you know, definitely, she wants to be an entertainment lawyer, that's, like, that ka I couldn't even get it out, cha -ka boom that's money right there, baby, that is money right there, so, yeah, it's not, nothing wrong with Candy giving her a one-up, Two up, three up, you know, because she wants the best for her children. That's why I said, Paul going to have a child. He going to have a time and a half when it comes to, uh, you know, raising um, baby Blaze and baby Ace. Because they still got her blood running through there. They still got her blood. You got Mama Joyce always somewhere looming in the background. So, okay, lurking in the background to make sure everything is kosher. And I ain't got, I ain't got no problem with, with Mama Joyce doing that. Okay, let's go on back, y'all. Exactly, because that's her day to day. But you've but come from, you've come from both sides of the 
of the coin per se, right? Exactly. You've come from real life Struggle. Bronx, New York yeah. living to then becoming a young adult. Well, not even young adult, because you with your father at a young age, like seven or some shit, yeah. right? Okay. And then growing up and your dad becoming who he became. Yeah. So you saw... And I've always seen stuff. Like, this isn't new. Like, he worked at BET. Uh, right, right. He already had it. Okay, now see, she trying to take over for her daddy. Like, he worked for BET. And yeah, he worked for Bravo, too. But he still ain't larger than Candy. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. Yeah, okay. But see, I think um what it was, uh, I think we heard A one get into the uh parameters of when Todd finally got in her life. So he said about seven or eight. So yeah, she he he missed out on the early, early stages with her. That's why he don't know how to uh, child i just don't think he good with girls period now him and ace is a buddy thing and he's very definitely a very good uh dad all the way around per se when it comes to candy kids he had with her uh but it's 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 um it's just something missing that kayla is still searching for and just like i said she can get on and speak on it and say and speak on mine then she know she need to get her daddy in counseling and they have you know let her fill out her uh, well, put out there her deepest, darkest, uh, unpleasant feelings that she has towards Todd. And they can work through it. You know what I'm saying? But don't sit and, um, you know, make judgment calls on somebody who's always had a privilege. Like, don't, don't, don't introduce them to the struggle. Because they're going to look at you and laugh. Like, baby, <laughs> I don't know nothing about that. And I am definitely solidifying myself. Well, I ain't got to learn nothing about that. Okay. All right. Moving on. But let me go. So, I'm glad you're here. No, for real, because I don't want people to be trying to make it seem like... He came in the money when he got with candy. Anybody else broke? <laughs> ah, my dog was already up. We were, you know what I'm saying? You know, see, everybody, everybody ain't gonna catch that we was chilling New York vibe. You gotta tell oh, yeah. y'all was straight. Chilling ass. <laughs> y'all was straight. It was good. We, you know what I'm saying? Right. We had a cool lifestyle. I lived in a penthouse in Jersey, overseeing Jersey, um, New York. Like. When the hell she live in a penthouse over Jersey? Is that the one that that penthouse or that apartment Todd had that still need renovated? That still ain't fit to live in, overlooking New York bridges and all that shit. Okay, look, come on, baby, come on, come on, baby. You ain't ready for the grown folk game. You ain't ready for the grown folk game. Candy, help her. Candy, candy girl, help that girl. Okay. Talk to the mama. Hey, if you can't get through the talk, talk to the mama. Say, hey, do you mind if I make sure Kayla's good girl, friend? You know? And she probably said, baby, go on, do what you got to do. Yes, help that child out. You know, if she got some sense. But if she don't, it's just going to be a struggle for Kayla. And she's always going to be bitter. But here we go. Talk to him, yeah? Exactly. Puffs Alter Soft makes going back. Oh, Lord, it went to a commercial. Hold on, guys. Let's see if we can get it back. Okay, now I've got a damn another commercial. Hold on, hold on. Because y'all I, y'all just got to... Okay, here we go. I think that's pretty good. I'll be having my sprinkles come on. You hear me? Okay. <laughs> so, now I'm a blocker. Like, you say something, I, you're blocked. Like, I'm not saying shit. I'm with you. I'm on the block. Nothing. You're blocked. Yeah, I'm with you. No lie, this took me years to get there. Mm. When I first started, like, with, you know, when I first moved down here, when I was with my dad and, you know, everything is transpiring. Yeah. I'm like, this is horrible. <laughs> the transitioning. Yeah, I'm like, this is horrible. Like, even people commenting, saying certain things, even from... Um, the show, how they edit things, like I, this was very new to me. Correct. So I'm like, this is horrible, and I'm, I'm a loving person, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, damn, this is horrible. Like, why do people do this? And that's honestly the reason y'all be seeing me on TV for real, cause I can't. But it was a lot of emotional trauma back then. Like, 
it took me a long time to get here. Like, I used to cry a lot. Like I never knew that about you. No, I did. Like I think you're, like, so hard. I mean, not hard in the bad You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I think you're very tough. Yeah, I know what you're saying, yeah. I used to cry a lot. Like, I even I used to tell my mom, like, they don't know him. They don't know us. Like, damn, like, why are they going so crazy on us? I think it's, it depends what you want out of the situation. Correct. Like, working on Love & Hip Hop, certain things that I've seen, it's just like, okay, they want this. Like, they want these things like me. I don't want the fame. I'll be rich. I'll be rich in the corner. No, I'm good. Like, <laughs> Give me my dollars. Who this rich black lady? You know what I'm right, saying? Right, 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 With the right. boats or whatever. Right, right. Like, I'd rather be that. Like, but, but I because think of your association, yeah, the I fame will choice. come along with it. Yeah, I have no choice. Right. But, like I said, I think it just depends what you want. I understand, you know, I spoke on, um, you know, you're not saying much on the show, but, you know, you're clearing up that some things weren't aired. But I do want to know, like, um, what's your relationship like with your sister? What's your relationship like with Riley? Um, we don't see each other. We don't call each other. We don't text each other. Um, yeah. I mean, that's the real. No, this is the real, like, okay. you know. Uh, uh. It's the real. It's nothing. Let me finish. Honey, A1 had to go take a sip of his drink and hold it there. Because A1 said, babe, I told you to speak your mind, but damn, don't get all ignorant with it. <laughs> I'm like, hell, I would say cut the camera off. Cut the camera off. That's what I would say. Whoo, child. I mean, like, you don't speak to her. You don't get with her. You, you don't text. Only time y'all come together is when y'all are summoned. So, with you sitting up here telling this shit, Kayla, that ain't gonna make Riley run to your defense either or make her want to get to know you. Boo. Girl, you still got a lot of growing up to do. A lot of growing up. You don't throw your family or your adopted family in the fire and thinking you're gonna be looking good at this. And then you sitting up there talking about you don't wanna be a part. This is not for you. You better rather be the rich woman that nobody know about. And that's cool. That's good insight there. But you don't speak on somebody bad just to up one you. You see what I'm saying? But you know, I, I blame Todd. I do, I do, I blame Todd. But move it on. Okay, so 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 good thing. So give me better understanding on not speak I, 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 all right. Let's take he's stuttering because he I didn't want her to I say that and he's trying to do real. damage yeah. control well, i just said you real and I, you know, but tell me more on why i i feel like i know why okay but expand for the people she's enjoying herself enjoying her life i told her she need me to call me i'm, I'm a cowboy train away whatever like i'm here now you backing, you're pussy popping and backpedaling. Kayla, see, that's what we tell people. If they're not ready to lock, load, and ready to spray, when you come with a, um, what do you call it, a 9 millimeter, I'm coming with a cannon. You know, the, fast, the, the, the fight is not going to be fair, baby. But who's going to get the better reaction? You or Riley? Let's, let's think about it now. Who, who, who going to get the better reaction? Who, who going to like who after this interview? Are they going to like you, really? Or are they going to like Riley? <laughs> okay, moving on. You know what I'm saying? Y'all never hang out, though? No. Like, never? Only when, um, when they, come, they up. come in town. Yeah, or we go on family they vacation. They being your parents, when the parents come yes. in. Yes, or we go on family vacation. Let me tell you something. I, have, I don't think... No, no, no. listen. My older sister, mm -hmm. we live in Atlanta, Georgia, together. Right? My sister I grew up with. See, A1 trying to still do damage control. Baby, you can't fix that shit. You can't fix that shit. And you can't, what you talking about, y'all live in the same house and y'all don't even see each other. That's true. You're right. But there does come a time where y'all share in a conversation throughout that week. You have to. You know, if it's about uh, what you're going to be doing, I'm going out of town, uh, I'm, I'm having guests over, do you want to be included? You know, this, that, and the third. He's basically trying to do damage control. And I'm pretty sure he talked with her after the fact that you don't want to put your sister out there. You know, y'all already stepsisters, and that's, you know, that's a bit much. And then you used to not really having this lavish life, and then you meet the other sister or a person you need to get in close contact with just because your mama and daddy or you know together your dad is with 
somebody new and she has a child and y'all supposed to be cohesive and, and, and mesh together. But with that type of attitude, that shit, you, when Riley hit this, because I'm pretty sure somebody going to get it to her. Y'all, I'm going to say it's it's irretrievable. Uh, that's a little bit too finite in a sense. It's too definitive. But, um, no, nah, baby, you ain't making points with Mama Joyce. And you damn sure ain't making no points with Riley by coming on speak on her mother's platform. And you're going to talk about your stepmom's daughter the way you did. That, that's going to leave a, a real bad taste in candy mouth, I'm pretty sure. Because Riley's going to be raising her the, her rights. Her rights. <laughs> going on. In the same house. Yes, yes, you must. Yeah. I only see my sister Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, Thanksgiving. And and maybe, maybe on some odd... She want to come to a show. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the only time I see my sister. So I'm, I understand. Yeah. Right? So I, I get it. You know what I mean? Like most people will get it. You know, once you get older and you don't primarily see your siblings, you know, like that. You know, I... I and I want to interject there. Okay, you have a sister, A1. Most times, you want to be wanting to lend an ear to another person that's the same sex. You see what I'm saying? You a boy... And your sister's a girl. Even me and my brother, I mean, he called me every day talking about stuff. And they're like, I should be calling him because he's the oldest. Uh, and I'm the youngest. But, you know, he called me. He talked to me, whatever. I mean, we talk every day. You know what I'm saying? So for you to make up an excuse, I mean, you just should have just said, okay, baby, that's how I did, that's how I did, and let it go. But you just kept digging in the hole, digging in the hole, trying to make what she said be better. When it's not. It's not, A1. It's not. I guess people would think that you guys would see each other for whatever fucking reason, okay. but that's normal. Yeah, you have life, you have other things going on, you know what I mean? I understand. It was very it good to see you guys a conversation, together. A time-to-time -time conversation would be cool, just like a checkup, but... No, it was cool to see you guys together, though, mm -hmm. uh, on the show. Yeah. That was beautiful. It was just good to see you, period. You know what I'm saying? Because I got beef with you anyway. <laughs> You know, you don't come in town and call me. You know I'm going to call, yeah, tell me you on the way. My fault. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's all good. I'm so happy to see you, Kayla. Me too. I love, you know I love you. Love you too. My dog. You're just growing up on me. Yeah. You're killing the fashion game. I, I be looking at your IG like, okay. God damn, this girl is killing it. I'm going to be, I'm going to be. Okay, and that's all we got to have for that. Y'all get in them comments and. Did y'all see the, the situation, how I saw it? Or was I just being too hard? But I wasn't being too hard, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. What is it? What is it? But when you don't have the same mom and dad and you get into these relationships of your parents marrying somebody else other than who they should be with or you think they should be with, and you have issues. I mean, counseling, that's all I say. Prayer and counseling, prayer and counseling. But, Kayla, don't you get your butt up here on no more speak up on it. And, and then you throw right on the bus like you did, girl. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Mm -mm. A house divided shall never stand. A house divided shall never stand. All right. But that's all I got for this particular video, guys. Get down in those comments. Because I really do want to know what y'all think about what she said about Riley. Do we give her a pass? We're going to give her a pass anyway because she's still young dumb and trying to have fun like we all went through that stage we all did it we did some dumb fucked up shit and some things we don't even want to remember and hope the people that we did it with don't even remember it's just like that unspoken shit you just don't say it happened you know it happened but we will not speak on it ever again in our lifetime yeah, I'm sorry that, you know, that's the, the thing she's going through. Because, you know, even when we was in our early 20s, we thought we knew everything. We thought we knew everything. <laughs> okay. But we did. No, we did. We did. We had some, well, our friends were a little bit smarter than us. Or they could have been dumber than what we was. We had to pull them up a little bit. But, you know, those are the things you learn, you live, learn, and you grow. And that's something we want Kayla to do, and as well as Riley. We want her to grow, be well-rounded, see things from different perspectives, and noting that your, your opinion is just that yours, okay? It may not fit the glove that you're trying to, you know, solidify yourself with and, and, and be entertained with that person and share, you know, personal things with that person. 
But you all will get it. Y'all will get it. Y'all young. You know, and if y'all don't get it, it just wasn't meant for y'all to be together. You know, life still goes on and we still go into complicated marriages and, and commitments and unions. And we just be good around that time. You know, it's like when you go to a uh, family reunion. Got that damn one uncle, one aunt that just be cutting the hell up and embarrassing all of y'all. And you just don't want you just don't want to see that aunt or that uncle. You know what I'm saying? Or that cousin, you know, begging all the time. <sighs> but such is life. But that's all I got for this video, guys. I ain't got no more, and I'll see you next time.